Without Matthew, there would be no telecom today. Matthew gave up his goal of reaching the Pacific to found this town. He had an eye on the future, real vision. I don't believe a word of it. It's no different from what you say about the Cartwright gang robbing the bank. They robbed the train station. Who robbed the bank? Who'd want to? Tillicum is dead. The town's in a lot better shape than you think. All we have to do is stop drinking and there wouldn't be a three pennies. Well, I'd write the story myself. I can see it now. First to go was Mike McGee, newspaper publisher in the classic tradition, pen in one hand, bottle in the other. He was followed by Thomas Lakin. Retired army captain trained by the United States government to outdrink the very best. Frederick Ballard, bank president and connoisseur of rare bourbon, persuaded Amy Colston, owner of the Three Pennies, to join him. Without the Three Pennies, you'd have to go out and look for news. He'd find something. After all, Tillicum makes it, the whole world takes it. The Chamber of Commerce speaks. <laughs> oh, he's my word. Those are fighting words. Oh, oh. Give it you may laugh at me, but my great-great-grandfather was quite an explorer. He knew the land. Matthew. Matthew Lycan. Matthew wasn't like me. He really did something. He was a man without hesitation. Right. Break out the grog. Matthew! We'll rot before we reach the Pacific. We'll go no further. At eight more miles, you can roll over and sleep like the dogs you are. We've been together for 14 months. We'll go no further. Enough, enough. We're not We're moving staying. right here. Get moving. Get him. Yes, get him. Oh. You'll never live through the winter. Shut up. You'll have to your homes again, Shut up. You'll not find the Pacific, Matthew! Matthew's getting all the best land! I, Jean Leyer, claim this land for His Majesty the King. Get me out of here! You're killing me! No, no, I don't. I, Jean Leyer, Claim this land for the Honorable Jean Leyer, boatman and platoon from St. Louis. Leeches! Him! Leeches! Get me out of here! No! No! Get out! That is mine! No way. This is mine! Get out of here! I was here! I don't no. need ah. Tie him up! I stopped here! Tie him I stopped here first! Damn! He's a let me go! No! John, help me! Let me go! Let me go! Damn. I'm sure those voices came from over there. Nobody's been on that side of the river since Cartwright's cabin burned. Who knows? Maybe we'll find Mike a real story. She'll make something of me yet. The Cartwright gang used to hide out around here. You know, even though they say bankers and thieves don't exactly mix. <laughs> That's because they're in the same profession. Ah, <laughs> uh, you don't give up, do you? Mm -mm. Well, let me tell you, those guys pulled out the biggest job around. And nobody ever laid a hand on them. The gang rode in on their horses five abreast. The Cedar Line was pushing west. Money was pouring through Tillicum Station. Money for the payroll, money for the freight. And the Cartwright gang figured that money had their name on it. They didn't care who saw them. They weren't afraid of anybody. station like there was no tomorrow. They tore up everything in sight and dynamited the safe apart. It's over! 
<laughs> We're gonna be rich. These can't be cashed in. They're worthless. One strange thing about that robbery, though. Cartwright ended up with all the money. Jack Noble, station man. Dearest Jack, I take pen in hand to tell you that my husband is going away for three days. Dear Mrs. Williams, I have a letter that you wrote. Please take pen in hand and send me one hundred dollars. <laughs> Silicon doesn't have the crowds anymore, and there are no parades. Proud as I feel is this year's queen, the most recognizable symbol of Tillicum's most famous product, canned crab. <laughs> proud as I am personally, I'm even prouder of our great town. One can only be grateful that the Lycan Party chose to settle where they did. The original Tillicum was founded with the sole purpose of growth. And Tillicum has grown from its freshwater origins all the way to the sea and beyond. Yay. For Tillicum is known wherever people eat fine canned crab. Yay. In fact, this city, like a small jewel, has taken on a value far greater than its physical size. Harding had never visited here. That killed the cannery. Good as killed the town. Well, it certainly killed Harding. <laughs> I wouldn't have eaten this stuff after that. What really killed us was when the Reform Party shot Tillicum down. Randy closed this town down. You know, there wasn't room for an honest man before the Reform Party cleaned up the town. Well, there is no reform without the vigilance of the press. Life wasn't dull with Randy around. He liked big news and he'd find it. Hey, someone's coming. Get out of here. Randy was on the top of every story. Randy made the Reform Party what it was. There is no power like the power of the press. So Randy closed this town down. Harding closed Tillicum down, but Matthew opened it up. He survived the first part of his journey from Missouri, but... Don't start in on him again. That's all. That's all. 